Hello, my name is Ron Shaw. I'd like to welcome you to this video on how to crack an NTLM hash. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using several tools that uh, will allow us to um, dump the uh, SAM files to a, uh, to a text-based file. Then we'll run a, a WinRT gen in order to create a rainbow table. And there we'll use a rainbow crack in order to crack these uh, SAM files that we just downloaded. But before we get started, I would like to uh, uh, give you some warning notices here. Now, we need to ensure that um, whenever you're doing any pen testing that you have authorization and uh, you've signed non-disclosure statements in here. Uh, also, never knowingly use any software or processes that that you obtain the, uh, and for illegal use or unethically. Also, uh, we're going to take these new skills, and I hope that uh, you will not use them for illegal or malicious attacks, and that you're not going to use these tools in an attempt to compromise anybody's other system. All right, let's get started. Now, let's talk about extracting the SAM files um, or the SAM hashes using a PWDump7. Now, passwords are a big part of uh, this modern generation. You can use passwords for your system to protect the business or secret information, and you may choose to limit access to your PC with a Windows password. Now, these passwords are important security level, but many passwords can be cracked. And while this is uh, very troublesome, this kink in the armor can also be used to come to your rescue. Now, by using password cracking tools or pass word cracking technologies that allow hackers to steal passwords can be used to also recover them legitimately. Now in order to be an expert ethical hacker and a pen tester you must understand how to crack an administrative passwords. Now let's go to the file where uh, PW where I have it stored at. Now as you can see here I've got P PD dump 7. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, open a command prompt and I'm going to execute the tool. Now, the command line for executing the tool is as follows pwdump7.exe and then I need to save the result to a location. Now, I'm going to save them to the uh, C drive or the root and I'll just call it txt. Now, I'll execute the file or the program and now it's completed. Just that simple. Now let's go here and let's verify the results. Yep, there it is. So I'll just go ahead and open it. Now, as you can see, um, well, I've got the output. Now here I have several accounts that it dumped from the ISAM file. Also now, in here, this is the account name, the last four the SID. Now, this is, um, in this case here, this, um, it's a 500, lets me know that this is an admin privilege account. Now, this had no storage of an LM password. Now, this is the NTL version of the password. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a rainbow table in order to crack these passwords, these NTLM passwords. You can also notice that the uh, guest account has no password assigned to them. All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and start and generate a rainbow table. Now that we've captured our, or dumped our SAM file, the next thing we're going to do is create a rainbow table. Now, what's the significance of this? Now, as, as individuals start using uh, more and more uh, complicated passwords, what I mean by complex, you know, longer characters, uh, alpha numeral numbers, uh, upper lower case alphabet, and uh, special characters, um, we're going to need to create a unique table in order to uh, of hashes in order to help speed up the uh, cracking process. And a tool we're going to use is WinRTGen. Now, in order to run WinRTGen, go ahead and download it, or in this case, I've already got mine downloaded, and then we'll just launch the program. Now, as you can see here, I've already um, generated uh, one, so let me just remove it and start from over at uh, the beginning. Now. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, generate a rainbow table specific to the hash or the algorithm that we're trying to crack. Now, in this case, uh, in the previous uh, exercise, I downloaded an uh, NTLM hash. So, 
what we'll do is we'll sit there and create uh, for a hash. We'll define our character length. So let's say we know that they're using a minimum of seven character, uh, six characters, and uh, their maximum characters, let's say maybe ten characters. Now, here's where I can sit there and add my character sets. So based on um, what I might think that they are using for their complexity, I'll sit there and um, generate it. Now, in this case, I'm just going to create one with just lower alpha, um, um, lower alphabet character. Now, from here, I would just start and start generating my table. So now, as it's going through here, now, this rainbow tables can become very large. Now, this one here will probably take a good 30, 40 minutes. So, I've already done this and uh, um, generated a table for me. So, what we'll do is I'll just sit here and we'll stop this right now and uh, X that here. So, now, as you can see here, I've already got uh, several different rainbow tables. So, we'll be using this one in the uh, next lab right here. So, that's all it is for generating uh, a rainbow table. All right, now that we've dumped our SAM file and we've created a rainbow table, now let's tie the two together. And a program I'm going to use to tie the, uh, and, and tie the two together will be Rainbow Crack. So let's just go ahead and get Rainbow Crack open. Uh, as you can see here, I've already downloaded it, and we'll go ahead and run it. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is we're going to have to add our hashes in here. Now, remember from the previous, uh, earlier, I was able to download the hashes using pwdump7. So, what we'll do is we'll take some hashes here. We'll get, we'll take Martin, Juggy Boy, and Jason here, and we'll take all those, and we'll run these into the uh, program. Let's see, this was Martin. All right, let's go back and get Juggy Boys. Now remember, um, we've, we've created a hash or a, a rainbow table that used uh, characters from four to six here. So uh, I won't attempt to get the admin because it is a 12 character password. So if I would wanted to done it, I would have had to make sure I created a rainbow table sufficient in order to uh, grab the complexity. So here, this will be enough. I'll just put three of them in here. Now the next thing we're going to do is let's go get our rainbow table. So here we are. We got a rainbow table here that, uh, that has been previous generated. Now, what I'll do is start cracking. Now, you can see, didn't take it long, it cracked all uh, Martin, Juggy Boy, and Jason's uh, password. So, you can see Apple, Green, and Q-W-E-R-T-Y. Uh, -E so, that's all it is. Now, uh, have fun and make sure you uh, hack responsibly and always get permission before hacking. Thank you and have a great day.